Thank you for joining in on the Quick Tips, Tricks, and Techniques video. I'm your host, Gabby, and one of the application specialists here at Milwaukee USA. And today I'll do a quick overview of step and repeat for textiles and raster link. So without further ado, let's get started. And don't forget, we're taking your questions live after. Check the box to enable the step and repeat edit. Here you can perform functions such as enlargement, shrinkage, rotation, mirror images, and specifying way of lying output width. So under scale, you will see that the valid box is unchecked. And having this box unchecked simply means that your image is at its original size. So if you wanted to enlarge or shrink the image, you will need to check this box. And now you see that you can scale your image by percentage or inches on your scan, which is your X axis, or on your feed, which is your Y axis. All right, so let's say you need your image to be 20 inches by 20 inches. So on your scan or feed, you'll type 20, hit enter, and now your image is 20 inches by 20 inches. Let's say you need to rescale your image to 12%. So on your scanner feed, you'll type 12, hit enter, and now your image is at 12%. Also notice that I kept the keep ratio box checked, which allows my image to stay proportional as I increase the image size or even decrease the image size. And I'll just enlarge the preview screen so you can see it. After you scaled your image to your preferred size, you can rotate your image by 90 degrees, 180 degrees, or 270 degrees. But for this step and repeat pattern, I'll just leave the rotation off. Next is mirror. So with sublimation, you will always reverse your image. So make sure this box is checked. Arrange your image in the center by clicking arrange in the center. Or you can uncheck this box and change the arrangement by changing your feed or your scan. All right, so now that the image is arranged in the center, you can change the repeat size by changing the length or the number of pieces under your size function. So length specifies the printing width of your image on your scan and on your feed. Alternatively, the number of pieces allows you to step and repeat the entire image by increasing the scan or feed. So I'm going to change the entire repeat size by using the number of pieces settings. So I'm just going to change the scan and the feed. I'm also going to enlarge the image on the preview screen so you can see it. So now we're going to move forward to the step and repeat type. So for this particular image, it is best to just stick with the normal repeat type. All right, so now that we have our settings, we can save our conditions under our favorite tab. So I'm going to title our conditions textile repeat. And then I'll hit add and then update. After updating or loading your settings, then print. Thanks for watching. And make sure you visit our website at mamakiusa.com where you can find more tips and tricks and technique videos.